Can you imagine, brothers and sisters, many of you are fathers, many of you are parents. We have many mothers here. Can you imagine how difficult it was for the mother of Musa? She's living in Egypt in a society where Pharaoh, a maniac, is slaughtering infants. Allah inspires her heart to put her child in a basket and where? Take him to the fire station? Put him in the Nile? Allahu Akbar, put him in the river. Your heart breaks if you see your child trip. She puts her baby in the Nile and the waves take him. And where does he end up? The basket goes to the shore of Fir'aun. What does Allah say about the emotional state of the mother of Musa? وَأَصْبَحَ فُؤَادُ أُمِّ مُوسَى فَارِغًا Allah says the heart of the mother of Musa felt empty. Have you felt emptiness in your life? Have you ever faced something in your life where you feel empty? Does Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala rebuke her for this void that she feels? For this emptiness that she feels? Allah doesn't. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is so kind, so compassionate. What does He do? He consoles her. فَرَدَدْنَاهُ إِلَىٰ أُمِّي We took him back. Allah arranges for this child who is now being raised by Fir'aun. Imagine, look at the power of Allah. Fir'aun wants to kill this prophesied child. Allah says, I am so powerful that I will make the one who wanted to kill him, raise him for me. He grows up in the house of Fir'aun. Allah says, we returned him to his mother. Why? So we can bring delight to her eyes. So that she will not grieve. Does Allah reveal to the mother of Musa, be patient, have iman? He doesn't. Allah consoles her. Do we console people who are suffering emotionally in our communities? We don't. We judge them. We label them as people of weak faith. That you must be doing haram. You must be a sinner. That's why your life is in shambles. 